Hey Brickheads, Scott with 36 Bricks here, taking a quick look at my most recent haul. Let's check it out. guys I am super excited about this haul so just to be open and honest I sold a thousand dollars worth of Star Wars uh, minifigures and plates and all that kind of fun stuff to be able to swing and get all of this stuff and I'm super excited so <laughs> let's go ahead and take a look at my most recent haul so this set right here, 31131, the Downtown Noodle Shop. I actually got five of these because, to be honest, I love every single one of the three-in-one sets. So, uh, I'm going to definitely combine a few of them to make a full-on noodle shop. I may do the second floor as, like, a bike shop or something like that. I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do, but I do have five of them. Uh, to work with so I'm excited about that. I also went ahead and uh, the pad wall at my local Lego store Had these amazing pieces super excited about that not exactly sure what I'm gonna do with those But it, definitely excited about those and then I am always running out of these clips and I, I actually should have gotten more than one and a half cups but I saw these and I run out of them like crazy and so I, I went ahead and got a couple of those. Within this I also got the two VIP Pirates Treasure VIP add-on packs which was really cool. At the pick a build I got these uh, pieces right here. So uh, a couple of these are different things uh, but there's some uh, scout torsos which Looks like one is missing a hand. Uh, I also got some Letterman jacket torsos, which were pretty cool. I got some printed pieces. And here I got some purple um, beakers, which is uh, pretty cool. Uh, and then, of course, some legs. Super excited about that. At the uh, Bricks and Minifigures in Ontario, it, if and when they have this set, I always pick it up. They sell it to me for about 10 bucks. And I get an amazing looking set uh, with a lot of detail and parts. This is probably like my 15th version of this that I have. I have a bunch more over there still that I haven't even built. But I love the pieces. I love everything about this set. And I always pick it up for the pieces. They also had uh, this amazing uh, Coast Guard boat. I actually haven't seen this co Coast Guard boat. So when I saw that, I was like, I have to get that. Uh, so I went ahead and added that on. They also did have the minifigures uh, laid out in their um, case. So I ended up picking up two reindeer, a black cat, which I'm going to put in my zoo. The reindeer I'm going to also put in my zoo uh, because I have reindeer in it. I have a black cat um, for like Black Panther. Uh, I really liked this uh, like Titanic type boat uh, from the CMFs. So I liked that. Got three popcorn people uh and then this is kind of going to be my lion um until they come out with a lion person i decided to get her for a lion for my zoo and then of course i got a llama i do have some llama in my or for my zoo but i'm trying to figure out how to clinch them in or clutch them in because for whatever reason they're not clutching properly uh then coming over here i got this uh bond 
It's the Aston Martin DBS uh, Speed Champion set from 007. Uh, I really like how it looked. I think it would go great in my city streets. Then, from there, I picked up one of the Guardians of the Galaxy Holiday Special Advent Calendars. So stay tuned for uh, me opening that in the December uh, months or month. Then, of course, I got two Sanctum Sanctorums. Super excited about that. I am definitely going to build one fresh on live streams. Compare it with my current Sanctum Sanctorum, which is on hold right now uh, for uh, Mills plates, and then um, see what I can do as far as combining these two for a bigger and better build. Super excited about that. And then, of course, the motorized lighthouse. That's right. Uh, I, I had enough left over, went ahead and picked it up, and got super excited that they had one. It looks amazing. Not sure how I'm going to incorporate it in my city or anything like that, but it will officially be my first build that has a light source. So if I decide to add on and build on to uh, lighting up my full city, that is the first steps to that. I also got some um, random parts here. I'm not going to go through all of those because that's going to take a while. But uh, we did a draft at the last event, and I was super excited that I was able to get some masonry bricks and a lot of other cool pieces in there. Uh, so, yeah, definitely excited. So, again, I traded in $1,000 worth of Star Wars minifigures the Rancorn and all of that, plus some base plates and a few other things to get this massive haul. Thanks for watching, guys. I really do appreciate all the love and support, and we will see you next time on 36 Bricks. Ooh, this one's cool. Check this one out. I agree, that one's cool. This one's awesome. Ooh, I like this one. I just can't stop watching. Well, I like them all, and I'm going to subscribe. Can you do the same? Please like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time on 36 Bricks.